hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima last week i told you guys my jam strategy but in today's video i'm going to tell you guys the strategy that i used to prepare for jam when i found out that i have less than a month to a week to prepare for jam if that's what you're here for let's get started it's not any protocol it's still past questions but i didn't just pick up my past questions and start studying anyhow i had a plan so in my time i had less than a month in fact it was a matter of days that i had to prepare for jam if you don't know the reason why this happened to me just go watch my jam story series i'll put the link up for you so that you understand everything that happened and why i allowed myself to start preparing for jam at last minute so i had a matter of days to prepare for jam this is what i did I divided the number of years of past questions that I had by the number of days that I needed to go through. You know that jam past question booklet? If I see a picture, I'm going to insert it in this video for you. I finished all the past questions in that booklet. All I did was to divide the number of years in that booklet by the number of days that I had to prepare for jam. So for example, if there are 30 years worth of past question in that booklet i divided the 30 years by the number of days that i had so if for example i had seven days that's 30 divided by seven that means i would have to go through at least four years past question in each of these topics every day that's english physics chemistry biology that's what i did now for any question that i didn't get right i did not just go and check the answer and say okay oh the answer is a o i tried to find out why didn't i get this question right is there any particular information i need to know so that if i see a question similar to this i'll be able to answer it that's what i did so it's not just a matter of solving past questions but you need to be strategic about it don't just say oh i feel this question and you just scan the answer you say oh it's supposed to be a and you go sometimes the answer in that booklet is wrong this is not the time for you to go and be doing jam lesson you have one way to prepare for jam you have less than a month to prepare for jam and you're going for jam lesson what do you want to learn in within a month in jam lesson how many topics will they be able to teach you in that jam lesson you get my question this is last minute preparation that we're talking about so that last minute preparation i did not have that time for jam lesson i did not have that time for textbook if at one week to your jam or less than one month to your jam you're still opening textbook to read textbook like you're reading a novel there is a problem I've mentioned past question and being strategic about the past question. I've mentioned this is not the time for textbook. I've mentioned this is not the time for jam lessons. Of course, say your prayers. One more very important thing is as you're solving this past question, make sure you're timing yourself. If you've ever written jam before or any CBT exam before, you'll find out that time flies, time runs. And this is computer system that we're talking about. So you cannot start saying, sir, please, I've not finished. Let me just mark one. The moment the time is up, it's disappearing. And to be on the safe side, it's better you finish ahead of time and submit yourself than for the system itself to log you out when you have not finished writing. In as much as you need to have this information, you need to know it, you also need to train yourself in time management imagine if you solve like 20 years past question each of those past questions you're timing yourself you will definitely know how to manage your time so time management is another thing that i had to work on by next week i'm going to drop tips for those who are studying from home how to study for exam while still deal with house chores and all the errands and drama in the house see you next week i'm your girl jimaima bye